Hello, I am Dr. Tina Thomas, obstetrician and gynecologist. Rise in BP soon after delivery of the baby, that is called postpartum hypertension. The most common cause of postpartum hypertension is preeclampsia, that is pregnancy induced hypertension. So the maximum risk of a patient getting increased BP is postpartum. So if there is any previous history or anything, you have to be very careful postpartum because that is the time when we get most commonly patients with increased BP. Now, increased BP at this time of uh, the labor or after the baby is out definitely has a lot of implication and it makes the pregnancy a very high risk pregnancy and it very high risk to the mother. There can be excessive bleeding leading into PPH. The, uh, there can be high blood pressure causing um, uh, de de defective changes in the mental stability of the women. There can be changes, most common is eclampsia. So, fits or convulsion is the most common risk caused by increased BP in pregnancy. And hence, any high, all patients after delivery are recorded blood pressure. So, the basic thing in every small and high center, every patient gets the blood, the blood pressure recorded after delivery and continues to record it. Uh, beyond that period for the next 24 to 48 hours because that is when the preeclampsia starts and preeclampsia can lead to eclampsia causing liver diseases, failure, renal failure, sepsis, all these are part of increased blood pressure. So blood loss, renal failure, all this, liver failure, all this have to be avoided. Blood pressure has to be kept under normal fits and convulsions. So if there is increased blood pressure in inpatient post-delivery, very close monitoring of blood pressure has to be done. Anti-hypertensive treatment has to be trans, uh, started immediately. And in case the blood pressure is getting uh, uh, not under control, then uh, there is risk of eclampsia that is fits and appropriate pre-preventive uh, measures to, uh, for eclampsia has to be taken.